Hey there, it's Mark. I'm cleaning out the warehouse. Came across these two cases. The one on top is plain. The one on bottom is interesting. Muscle machines. This is when it was part of Funline. I don't believe that uh, the related... I think Maisto owns the brand now. I'm not sure. I surely did not buy 48 pieces of something from this. However, I did buy the police, so I think that I, I had bought them off of a distributor, and then the distributor just used this box to ship to me. So what's in these two big boxes? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Now back in this time, I know this came from the early 2000s because I was doing birthday parties for kids, and so it was no big deal for me to have extra cars because I was using the cars in the parties, right? So I'm pretty sure, well, right on top, even, even though they, it sure would be nice if I had more of these on the bottom. Nissan Skyline. Got uh, three of these Nissan Skylines. This is the 2002 first edition. So, well, I got three of those. Sure would be nice if there was more on the bottom. Of course, now when I first started doing parties, you know, I didn't... Uh, <laughs> I found out that not all the cars can be used for the parties. Here we have the uh, 64 Riviera. Yeah, if you watch track time, you know what happens with uh, these types of cars for the track. But I can use them for like the downhill racing because I would set them. I, I would set up a downhill track, so I, I still could use them. I'm pretty sure that I I bought these at like Mattel's toy store, and uh, they must have had cases for sale at a great price. It's the only reason I would have had all of these. Here you have Montezuma. Oh, by the way. Uh, 2002, it's a little hard to see. The next one, 2002 first editions. It's Jester in purple. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can change my lighting. It's really hard. To, I'm trying to film this coming out of the box, but it's real hard for me to get lighting set up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the cars out of the box. We're going to take a quick look at them. And then uh, after I show all the cars coming out of the box, I'll come close. I'll get a different camera angle so I can get better lighting. Here you have Purple Passion. This one was fantastic. Had this uh, flat mm, you, pink, purple. Uh, I, don't know what you, I don't know what you would call it. Let's see. Up next on the right, here you have Jester. First edition from 2002. Oh, yeah, there's a cool car, side draft. What do we have here? Honda Civic. It was part of the mm, Tuner series. And a couple overboard 454. This was when it, see this white bar? This, is what, this was the designation in 2002. The white bar would be the first editions. Over in the corner, a couple more Hondas, and the Hondas had this red bar with the Tuners logo. Here we have 32 Ford Sedan Delivery, four of them. Mm, it shows a horseshoe. Uh, I have to look on the back to see the name of the series. It was part of the Wild Frontier series. Let's see, we already seen those three. Let's see, a couple more overboard 454s. There's another Nissan Skyline. Oh, holding out hope. Be kind of cool if there'd be a whole bunch of them underneath. Jester. Take the Jester out. Here you have the Custom 59 Cadillac. Uh, I, don't, I don't know when we've seen this, if we've seen it recently. A uh, white stripe, so it was a new model, 2002. Here's some fan favorites. Slingshot. Yeah. If you know uh, Highway 35, Slingshot was in Highway 35. This was the first edition. First release, it was in blue. Here's another fan favorite casting. Backdraft. Yeah, very cool. And it has surfboard in the back. There's a few. I will be selling the extras on eBay. I'm not doing the parties anymore. Well, at least I haven't done them in a, in a long time. Here we have Pro Stock Firebird, number two of four. Spree, so it must have been one of the candy series. A Sweet Rides, Sweet Rides series. 
I won't be taking the time to sell them individually, one at a time. I will be putting them in lots. Here you have Fantastic. Amanda loves this car. This was part of the He-Man series. There's the uh, graphic on the top. Skeletor. Oh, here's another one. I don't know. Uh, if you were a collector back then, uh, if you're a teenager now, Side Draft. I think Side Draft might have been in some of the video games. I don't know if it was this color Side Draft or not, though. No sense in pulling out a whole row. Uh, when I see a car, I'll just pull one out over here. Uh, so fast, three O's. Yeah, S O O O. So fast. And if you notice, you see the yellow blister. Uh, very, very common during this area for there to be yellow blisters. Look how perfectly clear this one is. And then this one, it's all, it's all yellowish. That's a bad batch of plastic. That's what happened. It's not, that can happen if you store them in heat. But in this case, during this time period, there's a lot of cars like that. And on bottom here, Corvette SR2. That was a new model. So let's see. I can, let's see what else is over here. Lancia Stratos. Or if you're over there in Europe, Lancia Stratos. First edition, new model. More, more, more. Here you have the Toyota Celica, part of the Tuner series. I'm not sure what kind of lots I'll put them up, put them up in, but I, I just don't want to sell them. I don't have the time to sell one at a car, one car at a time. Here you have the 63 Corvette. It was in a Corvette series. Here you have the 40 Ford Coupe. One of the better decorations it got. Red with flames. New model. I recognize this one by the point. Phaeton. Here you have the Phaeton. Mm, I wonder what the Serpent is, what the series was. It was called the uh, Cold-Blooded Series. Got that. Got that. Got that. Uh, no matter what. Check that out. This uh, car actually works pretty good in the boosters, loops, and curves. We haven't seen it in a long time, no matter what. It was number 10. They had 42 first editions. This was number 10. Oh, Speed Shark. Speed Shark. You see, nowadays they put the names on the bases of the cars. But I think this is one of the ones where people ask, hey, anybody know the name? Because I don't think this one has the name on the base. See, back there they didn't necessarily put the name on the base. And nowadays they also put a code, and if you get on the internet, you can just search that code, and you can find the name of the car. But you know, it hasn't always been that way. Bowling series. Oh, is the so fine in here? Hopefully the so fine is in here. Light blue. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Okay, there you have the surf and school bus. Awesome graphics. This was during the era when Mike was working for Mattel. M-I-Q, Mike. Fantastic graphic artist. He considered the cars to be a canvas and to have lots of room to do lots of decorations. Oh yeah, armored truck. Armored truck back then, uh, this opens up the back door. Uh, it's on the left side, it opens up. They don't do that no more. Whole, I believe it's a whole box in the back without an opening feature. Here you have the 59 Chevy Impala. Again, part of that series, uh, I forget what it was called. I told you already. And like I told you, graphics, still a cool looking car. Let me see, where am I? Here we go. <laughs> Here you have the Grillionaire. Talk about a model that's had lots of names. Grillionaire for the ice cream truck. All metal, none of this funny half metal, half plastic. Now it's just a plastic body. That's all right, it's a dollar car. If consumers only want to pay a dollar, that's what happens. Now they make it out of plastic. 
Here you have the hammered coupe. Joker. And part of the Trump Cars series. Trump as in the card game Trump, I believe. Let's see, where are we? Here's a green one we haven't seen yet. Hooligan. There... They were doing a lot of these types of cars. Uh, I don't know how to describe this, but uh, like coming up, we'll take a look at this. You have the Midnight Auto. Get it? Midnight, Midnight Auto. And it's different. You see how it has that metal part sticking out in the front? I don't believe that the uh, re-releases -re are doing that. Uh, this isn't an open wheeler, but this is an open wheeler. You have this. I showed a car earlier to where it was, uh, they were doing a lot of cars from this era at the time. So this, this came out of the case. I already showed you that. And do I have another one as a sample? No, I don't see one handy. Let's see. We are right here. He man, here's another one. Masters of the Universe. Here's your He-Man. Twin Mill 2. Oh, funny cars. There you go. You want to do some downhill racing? Here's the Firebird funny car. It's not one of the faster funny... It's not one of the faster funny cars. In my opinion, uh, it's... Uh, the wheels stick out. If you notice, see the wheels stick out. But even worse is this sticking out. And if this rubs on the side of the track... That's going to slow you down. That's drag. Drag is not good. Oh, yeah. Power Plower. This is another model. Long gone. Hardly ever see the Power Plower. I don't even know when the last time it was released. Did I show this car already? No. Nope. HW Prototype 2. New model. This was the first release of the prototype. HW Prototype 2. Mm, Spectre Flame series. Is it? Uh, yep, Spectre Flame 2. Where's the camera? Spectre Flame 2 series. Those were the models that were in this series. Jet Thread 3.0 actually might be in the case. It might be over here. Here you have the Screaming Hauler. This is another fast downhill racer for a basic car. Lots of metal up here. And, oh, look, metal base. No wonder it's fast. Let's see, what else do we have here? Come down, purple, did that, did that. Oh yeah, another one. Where you been? Motocrossed? Yeah, we don't get to see motocross that much anymore. 16 years, this case, all these cars here are 16 years old. Here's another super smooth, is it? Yep, super smooth. This was the uh, new model when it was introduced. Look, nice and clean. Just a little fancy graphic in the back. The, this one, they, this one might have been looking too close to somebody's real custom. There might have been a legal issue. I'm not positive. Don't quote me. Here's that so fine I was talking about, part of the uh, bowling series. Look at that. Man, really nice. Real nice. Pretty cool color, too. Dun, dun, dun. Just, I'm backing up, making sure I didn't miss something. Eye candy. Check it out. Eye candy. New model. That's skinny wheels in the front. Metal base. Kind of an interesting car. Of course, you know, these types of cars weren't all that popular. If you're talking about pig warmers, you know, back then this would be the pig warmer. That's right. I liked it. Maybe you like a muscle tone. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Spect part of the Spectra Flame series. But it, it's not Spectra Flame. They, they just called it Spectra Flame. Let's see what it says on the back. Spectra Flame 2. Part of the Spectra Flame 2 series. There's that jet thread I was talking about. Now, this is a very good track car, too. Look at that low profile. Doesn't mean it works on all track layouts, but it's still a track car. Purple, what is this? Oh, you got yourself a 97 Corvette. Looking good. Mm, um, I think this was made into a treasure hunt. And that treasure hunt, I like it a lot. Oh, here. Nope. I thought it was something else. I thought it was the GT. Wow, it looked so much like the uh, 
GT90. Here you have Custom Cougar. Mm, this was not a popular car either. Probably because of the color, just too much. Uh, there's another case underneath as well. Pony Up. This was the new model. Pony Up. This model's still around. I think Pony Up was in a five pack a couple years ago. Wasn't the most popular model in the five pack, but it was in there. Let me go ahead and set this down. Let's get that other case. We'll see what's in the other box right after this break. I have no idea. I see Yu-Gi-Oh. Careful. Let's see what do we have here. Yep. Yu-Gi-Oh! Two samples of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, the Power Pistons and Fandango. Hey, I'm sure you recognize that guy right there. Fandango, all metal body, plastic base though. Let's see what else do we have here. Couple proper choppers. You can pull out the rotor in the back to make it longer. And then the rotor on top, half and half, and you just flip it around and it'll pop into place. So you get yourself a full rotor. Seems like this one has a more uh, singles. Maybe it's just only on top. Maybe I put a sampling on top of what's underneath. I don't know. These been in here over 15 years. Lotus Esprit. 2003 first edition in black and here you have the Dodge Charger RT I see the uh, card so it's part of that Trump car series again three more Lotus Esprit, Lotus Esprit. here you have another one of the Yu-Gi-Oh this truck is called the seared super super tuned I almost said seared tuner if you're a fan of the cartoon or the comic or whatnot, maybe you recognize that character. Mm, I didn't watch it. That's my son. We already seen these two. There's another one from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Seared Tuner. Yeah, that's the one that was just on my head. There you go. Nice color. I like this. I like this car. I like the Fandango. The uh, super tune, the green truck, not so much. You have Altered State. This is the, again, first edition, new model. Cadillac. 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brom or Broham. Uh, I don't know if it's Brom or Broham, to be honest with you. Two tone. Lace wheels. Here's another one. See, we, I, I, I was talking about open wheelers, right? Here's the Deuce Roadster. Open wheeler. Can't really use those at the parties, you know, and there was so many. Uh, can't use them. In the, I couldn't use them at the parties. Kids put them through the booster and then mess them up. Roger Dodger Bowling Series. I've shown this one in a jammers and racing video before. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'll be able to do jammers and racing anymore. Stuff going on. Just don't know. We already showed you these. Let's get them out of the way. Here we have Monoposto. This car got a lot of colors and was used a lot in uh, track sets and play sets. Even though that uh, low front end, not so good in the loops. I'm not the one making the decision to put them in the track set. So, Hooligan, did I show you this one? I remember the, saying the name, but I don't know if it was this Hooligan. Part of the Hot Rod series. Yeah, we looked at Altered State. Here you have Double Vision, part of the He-Man series. Man at Arms is the character on the side. I can read. It says it right there. 
Ballistic, oh yeah, Highway 35, if you like Highway 35. This was the first color of Ballistic in green. You know, I'm, I think I'm showing these okay now. I don't think I'll, make, I don't think I'll show them up close later on. Uh, I showed you these. I showed you these, these. Here you have the Mustang Cobra in that uh, candy series again. Sweet something. Crunch is the designated candy being featured. Crazy Eights. Oh, what is this? <laughs> we have. Oh, you know, I had these. I know I had these stored in an area. Uh, I know what that is. Uh, anyways, here <laughs> you have. It's uh, wood shingles is what that is. Wood roof shingle debris is what that is. Crazy eights. So, crazy eights, it has this canopy in the front. Not every release of crazy eights had that canopy though. Let's move these Roger Dodgers. Uh, I showed you the Deuce Roadster. Here's another. Trump series. 33 Ford. I don't believe I showed you this one. If I did, I apologize. Sixty-five Corvette. Here we have the Rocket Oil Special. New model. First edition. First release. It's a pretty fast car. Metal base, metal body. Has these metal sides, so it works pretty good in the boosters too. Hydroplane. I see look, this is a perfect example. All four of these have been stored for over 15 years in this box, right? Right next to each other. You see me pulling it out of the box. And three of them are yellow and one's perfect. So uh, it's just a bad batch. Actually, this outer plastic is perfect, but you see there's a plastic behind it. That's to prevent the paint from rubbing on the cardboard and rubbing the paint off. But that paint insert, the plastic insert in the back is all faded, but, but the plastic in the front, perfectly clear. You can see right through it. While the other ones, uh, yellow inserts and the outer part is yellowing as well. Evil Twin, another model that we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, here you have uh, what, what series? Grave Rave. It was in the Grave Rave series. Crazy Eights. Oh, I wonder if Crazy Eights that we just showed you was part of that series. Anyways, not for the boosters, loops, and curves. It's a cool car to collect and cool car to, uh, if you want to drive around. That's all right. Now I can uh, speed things up. Got single on the bottom. First edition, Hyundai Spider Concept. I don't know how many releases this one got. I don't think it got very many. I hope I said Hyundai and not Honda. <laughs> I don't know. 2001 Mini Cooper in yellow. New model, very first release. Metal base, metal body. Oh yeah, this one was very nice. 70 Plymouth Roadrunner, Roadrunner Hot Rod Series in yellow. And it just looked fantastic. It looks really good. Black top, and you have black stripes, black decorations. In the back, back you have the Hot Rod Deco. And here you have this Super Tsunami. Might have showed this one, but just in case. That's the part of the series. Mm, no, it's new model. One, first edition. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. These two were hand in hand. Just were very, very nice. I already showed you that one. The 68 Cougar. This might have been the car where I got a, uh, I got like a bug in it. I don't know where that is, actually. I hope it's in my error collection. I don't know if that uh, graininess is, yep, it was just dust. It's just in the package, not on the roof. Let me see, where am I? 
Yep, three window 34. Stars and Stripes series. Star Spangled series. There you go. Looks perfect. Stars and Stripes. That's how I like my uh, patriotic cars. Stars and Stripes. Not no gray background or stuff like that. Here you have MST Suzuka. And this is one car to where it always looks odd because they have this big gap, big amount of space, large amount of space in the wheel wheel in the back. And the wheel looks like it's the wrong size. But it's, it's always like that. <laughs> Everybody always wonders, is it an error? No, they're, they're all like that. And here's another. There you go. Red, white, and blue. That's how you do it with the 68 El Camino. Uh, looks great. And this one's pretty good downhill racer as well. Stars and stripes. Love those red flames. And this is part of the same series. But, eh, I don't know, it's okay. It was not my favorite of the series, even though you got the flag on there. Uh, the, the color of the red undertone, it's, it's okay. Butterfinger, this car was the 70 Chevelle SS. This was all the rage back in the day because uh, it didn't... It just was hard to find at first. It's one of those cars that was hard to find at first. And then you know how it is. A flood of them. They wind up in the cases, and there's lots of them in the cases. This one's a pop-off. You have the Volkswagen New Beetle Cup. And the reason I call it a pop-off is because it has this switch right here. And it actually says unlock to the side. But that switch, if you pop the switch, uh, you can pop the body right off of the car. And that's something that they can't do in the dollar range anymore. So no more pop-offs. I don't think we'll see them for long anymore. Vulture. So it's a very low profile car. And yes, there's a little bit of fading to that blister. What do we have here? Red, white, and blue. Baby Ruth. But it's not part of the Stars and Stripes. Uh, as far as Star Spangles series. Mmm, sweet rides. Sweet rides. I might have shown all of them. They might have looked. Uh, I don't know. If, were they all four? It would have been unusual for all four to be in here. Because if I would have bought the cases, it would have been, you know, like one case code. And they generally would not have all four to a series in one case code, right? Here you have Sid Mead's Sentinel 400 Limo. Not exactly a good seller off of the pigs. It was just a little too unique for people. It did not get that many releases. It did get some uh, five-pack releases. Double Vision. He-Man. And, oh, I must have showed you that already because Man at Arms. I remember I said that. Uh, ballistic, already showed you that. And, hey, Celine S7. This is a very nice car here. Not too much to say. Just be quiet and admire. Got that. Monoposto. Here you have the Dodge Power Wagon. It's Border Patrol Decorations. Planet, PlanetHotWheels.com That's something with their video games and stuff. They have some type of game online, and then they'll have it for a while, and then they'll take it offline, and then people get upset. Where did it go? I guess they just keep coming up with new stuff. Ford Focus, part of the Tuner series. Toyota RSC. Mm, this one might have been in Highway 35 as well. Toyota RSC. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. Not this deco, of course. Got all these. Come back. Toyota RSC. What do we have here? A couple yellow ones. Open Roadster. New model. This was the first color that it appeared in. And the 58 Corvette. There's been a few Corvettes in this series. In this 
case, these two cases I brought out. Nissan Z. There you go. Not the most popular Nissan, but uh, it's still a Nissan. These I might put in its own individual auction because there's going to be specific people looking for it. Here's another pop-off. Hyperliner. Big van. That's a metal body, plastic base, and there you see the red switch. Pop the switch and you could pop the body right off and there's like a roll cage inside. Here you have 40-something. This, this got a lot of colors released back in the day. Kind of a looking like a Ford GT, and that's why they call it 40-something. Do they pay Ford for the license? Uh, I don't remember if this is one of the ones to where they turn around and wind up having to pay Ford. I'm not sure. I don't see it on there. Maybe later on they did. Custom 69 Chevy. Basic red. This was the first release again. Chevy Nomad. Red line series. Put red lines on the tires. So if you're a newer collector, this is what you would call red lines. But it's not what I would call red lines. The Demon, also part of the red line series. There you go. Hot Wheels Red Lines. Some people call them Red Stripes Wheels. That's fine too. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get in the argument. Just buy what you like. Some of the other stuff is just petty. Here you have Ferrari P4. I really like this one. Classic looking model. Torpedo Jones. See the dude driving? Plastic guy. He's 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 just po he's sitting on a post. It's so sometimes you find him floating around in the blister. Sometimes he's not there at all. You have a ghost driver. Does look like a metal base, metal body. Probably plastic engine. Where am I? Here, here, here. Hey, last road. Now, Sidekick. Sidekick is a good downhill racer, but I think this is the first release, or very close to it, where they went to a plastic base. So it is not nearly as fast as the other releases of Sidekick. Part of the Red Line series. You already seen the red stripe wheels. There's your logo. Now, Sidekick is one of the models where you can slide out. The, no, you pull this. You pull the tailpipes and then the Sidekick's out. That's why they call it Sidekick. Now they have a new version. I think they call it what? Slide Kick? So uh, that's a new model. 32 Ford Vicky. Metal body, again, Red Line Series, metal base. Those were the days, metal body, metal base. Chevy Nomad, another Red Line Series. Maybe all four did get in at the same time. Or maybe I bought codes that were close to each other. Here you have them again, metal base. Red stripe wheels, it does have a metal body. Red Line's logo. And, uh, did I show the Vicky? This is the last one. Honda Sprocket. Lots of people say Sprocket. <laughs> it's just, just what our brain sees it and thinks, hey, it says Sprocket. No, no, it's Sprocket. There's no R there. There's a faster than ever version of the Honda Sprocket with the faster than ever wheels. That's pretty fast if you can get that one too. Not one of the fastest, but it's definitely fast. Thanks for checking out these old cases. Just found them sitting in a warehouse. I'm going to have to get rid of these cars. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. And have fun with your cars, too. Bye-bye.